Army veteran who fell on hard times but rebounded is now paying it forward. He's helping vets dealing with life's challenges. WDN's Jewel Hillary is live in Humboldt Park with that story. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. After leaving the Army, veteran Albert Alexander, a husband and a father of four, experienced some seasons of unemployment and homelessness. But now he's back on his feet and eager to make life easier for fellow veterans. And he's believing that this building behind us can help foster those dreams. In 1996, veteran Albert Alexander, who was now 46 years old, joined the U.S. Army. I went in because I had a child and I wanted some permit to take care of my, my daughter at the time. After serving for several years, Albert was medically discharged from the service in 2008. That's when I started thinking about how people or veterans and their family members can live outside the military serving the way they wanted to serve instead of what they have to serve just to make ends meet. Currently, Albert works as a COVID screener for the VA, but for several years he was unable to find stable work and experienced homelessness. So I just kept going and doing what I had to do, doing every job I could find, whether it was for cash or for a week or whatever. Thanks to his own determination and support from various VA programs, Albert is back on his feet and wants to pay it forward. And that's where his nonprofit organization, A Special Place for Veterans, comes in. In 2017, we, have a, we got a private foundation status, and their goal was to, to buy land and build communities similar to where we lived in while we were active duty. Albert says he envisions developing a community for veterans and their families to live in once service members return home. It's like a benefit like the GI Bill, the VA hospital. It's just there for you. And that's where this large building at the corner of Spalding Avenue and Franklin Boulevard in Humboldt Park could play a role. Albert dreams of buying this unoccupied property. The building by itself is 17 million. And filling it with family friendly for profit businesses and activities like putt putt golf, movie theater screens, and robotics and cybersecurity training. He says the money generated would all go back to veterans. We just need the funds, and that's what we want to need to do some fundraising or get strategic partners that can help us do what we're doing. To help raise money, a special place for veterans has started a campaign. We call it one in a million, so you could be one of those million people to commit to $7 a month. That can give us enough money to do what we need to do on a more permanent basis. In addition to his full time job, Albert also drives for Lyft to help fund his dream to care for fellow veterans. Every Lyft ride I do, 100% all the tips, everything goes to the organization. Acquiring this building and filling it is an ambitious endeavor, but this hardworking, committed Army veteran believes it's well worth the sacrifice. People paved the way for me to have what I have today, and I want to do my part in paving the way for the next people. Now, a representative overseeing the realty company for this building says it's owned by private investors, and he told me that he believes Albert's dreams and ambitions are amazing, and he says that if Albert can fundraise enough money, he thinks that his vision would be a very nice use of this property. If you're interested in learning more about a special place for veterans and perhaps supporting them, you can click on this story on our website at WGNTV.com. For now, reporting live tonight in Humboldt Park, I'm Jewel Hillary.